I set a theme for every year. And this year, 2024, is the year that I am calling the year of my passions. What does that mean? What is the year of my passions? Well, specifically for this year, I'm going to be focusing on three main areas. And those three main areas are Linux, ethical hacking, and coding and programming. These are three things that kind of throughout my life I have in various different times really really wanted to put a lot of time and put a lot of effort into however they're not like exactly what my career is and so therefore it's been a situation where it's like well i can do these or i can do what makes the biggest impact in my career and don't misunderstand me for those of you who don't know i work in security i will always work in security but i tend to lean more towards like governance risk compliance privacy that type of thing instead of being really hands-on and technical and that is what made me want to get into security to begin with. So this year, I'm going to focus very, very heavily on things that I just have a passion for and things that make me happy and things that I've always wanted to learn, but I haven't given myself enough time to do. Just so we're clear, I actually do like what I do uh, as far as my like main day-to-day -day responsibilities, my sort of career in uh, the non-technical side of security. And to be honest with you, I've seen a lot of videos, especially in the last couple months, where people have been talking about how they've burned out and how they're no longer in love with, with security. And that's really unfortunate, but I get it. The problem is that a lot of times you, you know, you have this passion, you find something that you enjoy, but you stop enjoying it when it becomes like your main job and you have to do it all day, every day. I, I'm going to make a separate video about this at some point, but just know that while yes, I would have loved to do pen testing as my main career, I'm actually glad that that didn't happen, mainly because I would have only did pen testing and I, I probably wouldn't have taken the time to like learn GRC and learn other things. Whereas now... I can focus in one particular area in security as my main job, and I can learn and play around and experiment in another area. And that's really what this year is going to be. I have a few New Year's resolutions like outside of the whole theme that I usually have for the year, but we'll talk about that at the end. For now, let's talk about Linux. Oh man, I'm really excited for Linux. And the reason why is because I'm the type of person, again, I like to play around with everything. And I actually had a computer that I built a long time ago. If I remember, I'll put a picture up here. It's nothing special, but I built it a long time ago. And unfortunately, as far as the CPU, it's too old to put Windows 11 on there. And while I have no intentions of moving to Windows 11 anytime soon, it made me think, you know what? I should probably start looking into something else. And then it just brought me back into thinking about Linux. Linux is great. I love Linux. I have taken almost all of the computers in this house and I've put Linux on there. And my intentions was to just force myself to really learn Linux and to play around with it. And that's really what I'm going to be doing. I don't personally see myself going back to Windows. Again, not that there's anything wrong with it. It's fine. I personally don't care what you use, Windows, Mac, Linux, but that's what I want to do. Windows, Mac, Linux, BSD. Um, there's a bunch of different things that you can use, but I really, really want to focus in Linux. Linux specifically, I love the freedom. I love being able to choose different operating systems or, or different distributions, um, different desktop environments. There's so many things that you can do. And even in the short time that I've used Linux, I don't want to say short time because I've been using it for like two years, but in the short time that I've used it from a very like basic user perspective, it's great. And I really want to put a lot more time into it. And that is what I'm going to do this year. For all of you who might be a little bit more advanced on the Linux side, what I'm basically saying is I want to play around with like dot files and con keys. I want to use tiling window managers. I'm only going to focus on Debian and Ubuntu based systems. I'm not really going to move over to Arch. That's a bit too advanced for me right now, but that's what I'm interested in. I mean, yes, I'd like to pretty up some desktop environments and play around with that and make things look cool, but I also want to be able to, for example, install Ubuntu server that has no desktop environment. And I just want to be able to navigate everything I need to do straight from a terminal without doing anything else. That's what I want to learn. That's what I'm excited for. One last note here, as far as Linux is concerned, I am trying to like reduce my reliance on proprietary software. So I am trying to get away from Windows a bit, but I may not have a choice. Actually, you know what? I, I just thought of something. There are two situations right now that I use Windows and outside of work, because I do have to have Windows for work, but the work computer is a work computer. There's two situations. One is gaming, and I'm almost ready to switch off of Windows for that. I have a Steam Deck. Steam OS works great. I'm probably just going to put Steam OS on one of my main computers, and then I don't have to use Windows for that. 
The other one is, it used to be school, but school is over. So the last one is if I need to take like an external exam for, you know, whatever certification exam I'm going for, I usually have to go back to Windows to do that. But what I'm going to do this year is I'm going to buy me a little Mac mini because I, I love learning about different operating systems. So I'm going to buy a Mac mini and I'll probably use that if I need to take any exams or something like that. So yes, I'm going to be primarily like 98% maybe not 98%, but I'm going to be very, very uh, focused in Linux. I'll probably have a little bit of Mac that I'm going to be using. And I do have to do BSD as well for a couple of networking devices that I have in the house. But yeah, that's it. Next is coding, programming, scripting. I am super, super excited for this. A long time ago, I'm talking about a really long time ago, I used to use something called uh, Visual Basic 6.0. I could create little pieces of software. The reason why I stopped using that was just because it was only for Windows. And as I just told you, I like to learn different operating systems. So whatever I created on Windows, I could only use it on Windows. And I didn't like that. A little bit later on, I moved on to creating like little little games and things with something called RPG Maker. And RPG Maker specifically allowed you to create your own scripts with Ruby. So I spent a little time learning how to code in Ruby. I don't remember how to do any of this stuff many years ago, but I learned how to do that. And again, I just loved the ability to create and, and modify things and it was beautiful. Unfortunately though, the hard drive that I had that had all that information and stuff on it, it crashed, I lost my games, I lost my information, and I kind of fell out of love with it. I didn't know anybody that did any type of coding or programming either, so eventually I just gave it up and I focused on something else, which eventually led me into security. I know a lot of you coders and programmers and developers are thinking, all of that sounds great, but what are you actually going to do? And the answer is, I don't know. I know for sure that I'm going to take the time to learn Python. Python is apparently one of the easiest languages that you can learn, and I think that's a good starting point for me. But then where do I take that in the future? I, I don't plan on working for any companies or anything like that, but I don't know, because coding and programming can be so many different things. You can build websites, you can build software, you can do a bunch of data bases. I'm not sure where I want to go, but I know that I want to get started. I know that I want to do something instead of spending all the time trying to plan everything out. Let me just get started and have fun with it. I'm excited and I am excited to share that journey with you guys as well. The last thing that I want to talk about is pen testing. This is a big goal for me. And to be honest with you, the other two things actually help here a lot because from a Linux perspective, most of the main like pen testing distributions that people will use, they're actually Linux distros. So um, Parrot OS and Kali Linux are probably the two most well known. There are other ones that are out there. And of course you could do pen testing on uh, just Windows if you want to, but from a starting point, these two distributions are great. So that really supports my Linux thing as well. And then as far as coding and programming goes, a lot of these tools that I've seen have been created in Python. So if I learn Python, it'll help me to edit some of these scripts and to understand them a little bit better instead of just being a little script kitty that's using everybody else's stuff. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and act like I'm brand new to pen testing. I've, I've been doing a little bit off and on for, for quite a few years, but I, I, I don't specialize in anything and I'm not going to necessarily specialize in anything this year. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, like, I mean, you can specialize in password cracking, hacking in databases. Um, you can specialize in trying to get into phones or get into certain operating systems. There's so many things you can do, right? I am not necessarily trying to focus on that as much as I am just trying to dabble in everything until I figure out what it is that I want to do. I have subscriptions to try hack me and hack the box. I've had subscriptions to both of those for over a year and I'm not utilizing them at all. So I will be doing that. Um, there is a course by a company called, I think TCM and it's for their PNPT certification. And while certifications are not like a huge part of this year, I like from I like what I'm seeing in the course. I haven't actually paid for it or started it yet, but I like it. It actually teaches a little bit of Python too. So I'm going to purchase that course. And if I like the material in there, I'll probably go for the PNPT certification. For those of you who heard my situation with the CEH practical from last year, I was supposed to take it on December 31st. That was my last date. However, I talked with them and they allowed me to push it out into March. So I will actually attempt that in March. If I don't pass, I don't care. Screw that certification. But if I do pass, you know, it'll, it'll be nice. So those are kind of the main goals, I guess, 
for what I'm calling the year of my passions. All three of these I'm super interested in and I, I just wanna play with them and I just wanna have fun with them. Um, I think one of the problems that I always had too was I didn't really have anything tangible that I could use. It's one of the reasons why I have so many certifications is like you, you study something, you put a lot of time into it, but you don't really have a lot of ways to show that you've been doing that. And so for me, certifications really helped. But I honestly think that the three of these I can show them in other ways. Yes, I'll be making videos on this channel, so you'll get to see my journey there. But also, I think I might take some of this stuff and put it somewhere. Like maybe, I do technically have a GitHub page. I don't use it. Maybe some of the projects that I do as I learn Python, I will, maybe I'll put them on a GitHub page. Or for example, from a pen testing perspective, like when I'm doing certain CTF rooms and things like that with Try Hack Me and Hack the Box, sure, I can make a few videos here, but I can also do, you know, entire write-ups and I can put the write-ups on there as well. You know, you guys ask me all the time, like, what can you guys do to show employers that you're working on projects and doing other things? And that's always been a difficult thing for me too. But I think if I can do those and put those somewhere, like on a website and GitHub, something like that, that would help in being able to show stuff. That particular area won't do much for me in my career at this time. But I would still like to put something up there so I can always go back and look at, you know, kind of how I started and the little projects that I made in the beginning versus the things that I was able to eventually accomplish later this year or next year or something like that. I want to see that progress in myself in other ways than just certifications. So I, I'm, I'm super, super excited. There are just a couple of small things that I should go ahead and mention here as far as like New Year's resolution type goals other than just my main focus areas. So there are two. One of them is my weight and the other one is dating. So let's just quickly talk about that. Unlike previous years where I'm just like, oh, I'll work on my weight at some point. I'm actually putting an actual timeline on it. In fact, I can tell you right now that starting on January 2nd, I started focusing on my weight. This month, my number one priority was to work on my weight. And oh boy, it has been a crazy ass month so far in that. I'll tell you straight up, I started off at 215 pounds. I worked on it really hard. I got down to 210. Five pounds is quite a bit for a month. However, I then had an implant surgery and uh, I had to do a couple of days of eating really weirdly and letting it heal and taking certain medicine. That took me from 210 back up to 215. And then I started working on it really hard a couple days after that. So now I'm back down to 210 and hopefully I can continue to work on my weight and I can continue to get it down from there. But man, my, my weight has just, I've, I've never had my weight go up and down as much as it has, but I am actively working on it. And when I say my weight, I mean my end result needs to be my weight going down, but I am eating better. I'm being a little bit more active. And I just want to be clear that what I'm doing is not like, I'm not going to extremes or anything and trying to like lose weight really heavily in January and then do whatever I want to from there. I'm actually just trying to change the way I eat, trying to be a little bit more active. And I'm trying to do certain things that will uh, become habit not just trying to temporarily do it. So I'm not trying to quickly fix an issue here. No, I'm trying to lose weight permanently. And I think as far as as far as weight is concerned, I would like to let's say get down to 185. I felt the most comfortable at 185. I got a hell of a long way to go. <laughs> I've never lost that much weight in an entire year. So I don't know if I'm really going to go from starting at 215, going all the way down to 185, but we'll see. It's possible, I think. And uh, that's my goal. The relationship situation is a little bit weird. I don't want to like say, well, I would need to be in a relationship by a certain date because that just is going to go badly. <laughs> like, I don't want to end up like forcing myself to be in a relationship with somebody that I'm totally not compatible with. So let's, let's take a step back and basically say that the situation here is if I make it to July, I will have been single for 10 years. And that's just something I never thought would happen. So maybe what I'll do is let's, let's set the goal like this. Starting on February 15th, February 15th, I will on that day and moving forward, make an actual effort. I will try to go out. I'll try to meet people. I'm not a big fan of like dating, uh, the dating websites and stuff, but who knows? We'll try it out. We'll see what happens. I've actually done speed dating before and I found it to be kind of fun, but I don't think I'm going to do that again. Um, I'll tell you the story about speed dating one day. Today's not the day for it, but, um, 
yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to be a bit more active. I'm going to set the date for February 15th. And then starting on that day, we'll make an effort. So yeah, I, I think that's about it. I've been pretty quiet in January. Uh, I've been doing a lot of other projects. I am going to mostly start the stuff that I told you guys of all of this Linux and, and all that other stuff. That's mainly going to start in February, which is different for me because I usually start things at the beginning of the year. However, January has been wild okay there's just been a lot of things going on i actually bought i'll put a picture up here i think of like all of the mini pcs that i have i didn't buy them all last year but i bought a bunch of them i also bought a separate switch uh multiple switches so i can set up vlans in the house i bought my own access point i have a couple mini pcs that i'm going to be using as firewalls and i have i have two different internet providers in the house so one of them is kind of what i'm using as backup and that one is just in case i screw up anything uh, from the main network. The main network, I've taken everything apart. I've installed a bunch of stuff. I'm getting super, super hands-on right now, and that's what I've always wanted to do. So but my, my weak point a little bit is in networking. I'm not very good with the networking side of IT period. So um, I've been installing and playing around and doing a lot of things there. I'm just, I'm, I'm so excited for 2024 because I can be hands-on, because I can get back to doing the things that I really wanted to do and things that I really wanted to learn. I'm not leaving my main job, uh, my main career. I'm gonna continue to be in GRC and I will continue to learn GRC, like I said before. But this year is the year of my passions. I'm going to play around with a lot of pen testing stuff, networking stuff, Linux stuff. I'm just, I'm so excited for this year. I don't think I've ever been as excited as I am for 2024. So. Yeah, that's uh, that's it. One last thing that I want to say before I end the video is thank you. You guys have been extremely helpful throughout my journey through WGU, and uh, you guys have been awesome, and I love every single one of you. It's crazy because I genuinely was going to stop and delete the channel in 2024 only because this channel, the whole point in the channel was just for me to go through my journey at WGU. That was it, my college journey. And uh, I never really thought that anybody would even subscribe. And here we are, you know, a, a year and a half later or something like that. And it's like 4,000 of you that have subscribed. A lot of people are watching. Occasionally, I still hear my name come up in like someone else's YouTube video or on Reddit. And it just, it blows my mind because I never expected any of that. Um, so, yeah, I, I just wanted to say thank you. As far as what's going to come on this channel going forward, I do still have WGU videos to make. I'm always going to be paying attention to the community and seeing what's going on there. I love to cheer you guys on. I want to see all of you succeed and I will do what I can to help you. This channel will have some WGU, but I think it's also going to be transitioning a little bit into just my journey through uh, the, the new areas that I talked about, my journey through Linux, my journey through pen testing, and my journey through learning, coding, and programming. So that's it. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Happy 2024. I wish you all the best. And uh, until my next video, you guys take care.